So at this point, you've completed the Van Gogh Zombies Easter egg. And if you haven't, then there's a guide for it in the top right banner of this video. You're in disbelief that that was the entire thing. And you're wondering if there are any other Easter eggs. And this video is the one for you as we're going to be going over every known side Easter egg currently discovered and explain it as easy as possible. Now, I wish there was a lot of Easter eggs for us to go through in this video, but there's only three so far. But jumping straight into things, in order to do any of these side Easter eggs, you firstly need to find a shovel. As all these Easter eggs require you to find dig sites around the map. Man, it's been a long time since those were in zombies. Now, this shovel has four different spawn locations. These are the same spawn locations every game. And depending if you're playing in solo or co-op, will equal how many shovels you're able to find in the game. So starting from where the decimator shield is, if we take a right head through Merchant Road, through the bazaar and then into Merchant Road West into the market storage in this corner where these carpets are hung there should be a shovel there if not don't worry the next location starting again from the shield is we're going to take a left run down this way past this tank and then in this little corner which is labeled the outpost courtyard there's a chance that you'll find the shovel propped up by that panel of wood. For the third location from the shield, you're going to be taking this right path up the ravine path. And as you enter the debris field right here next to this box propped up against the wood can be another location for the shovel. And for the final location, make your way up from Merchant Road West on the rail path up towards the derailment area. And if you take a left here past the stamina up perk machine and in this pile, you should see it lying there on the ground. Now you've got the shovel, we can begin with the three side Easter eggs and these all revolve around running all of the areas of the map to find dig sites. There are quite a lot of them hidden, sometimes in plain sight. You'll be trying to find every single one to dig up certain items. Most of the time, you might get a monkey bomb, you might get a salvage drop or even get a weapon. But on the very rare occasion, you'll get one of these side Easter egg items and we'll start off with the antenna easter egg now to start this you just want to dig around the entire map until you discover this antenna part it looks like this and once it's appeared you can pick up the antenna and we'll move on to where you have to place it now if you make your way to merchant road outside of this building you'll see a bunch of radios where you'll be able to place down the antenna once you place this down you will get quite a few boom shriers spawning in from around the nearby facility if you're playing in co-op this will obviously scale but once you've taken them all out we can move on to step Step two. Come over to the debris field where the blue perk fountain is and to the right of it you'll see an antenna on the ground that will give you the prompt to rotate it. Once you do that another wave of boom shriers will spawn in. Take them out and we can move on to the next step. But if you make your way to Merchant Road and then into the bazaar and go upstairs right near the yellow perk fountain there will be another antenna that you can rotate. Do that and again, more boom shriers will spawn. Once you've taken those out, there is one final antenna we need to find, which is going to be inside of the market right at the back. Just rotate that. And instead of boom shriers, you're going to get a load of storm kriegers that are going to spawn. So make sure you are prepared for this. But once done, the final one will drop a chest that you can open with some free loot. And that's that side Easter egg done. Probably one of the worst side Easter egg rewards ever. So much so that I had to teabag the Storm Krieger. So I can't recommend that there is a lot of point to that side Easter egg. Moving on to our next side Easter egg, which can be found in the outpost courtyard, is this secret room, which is locked by a spell. Now within there, there is going to be a free death machine score streak for us, but there's also the chance of getting a free ray gun. Now in order to open this door, we're going to need to go and dig around the map until we find four pages from the Tome of Rituals. These pages are separate from the main Easter egg quest and can be found simply by just digging around the map. Now, finding these pages wasn't quick. It took quite a while for me to find them. But all four pages are going to be present on the map and you'll need all of the areas open around the map, obviously, to search every dig spot for them. But when you do dig one up, this is what it looks like. It's simply a page which you can just pick up and you're going to need to find four pages in total. And when I mentioned about there being a free ray gun in this room there's a chance that when you're going through and finding dig spots that you might dig up a ray gun which will float up and look like a free ray gun that you can pick up but it's actually a troll by Triarch where the ray gun actually flies away into that locked room. And this troll also spawns a ridiculous amount of boom shriers. But this might take you a while, but once you are done, we can finally make our way to the secret room, which if you take a left from the shield, 
inside the outpost courtyard you'll see it there and you'll also be able to hear the door as well now in order to open this door you're going to need to place each of the page in a specific spot so if you go up to it you'll see the option to place a page the pages are going to need to be placed in a certain order so if you place a page on one of the directions and it disappears that means that page is not in the right spot and you're gonna have to keep trial and erroring until you find the correct spot for that page now the actual prompts to place the page do seem to be a little bit buggy so you might have to just walk slightly backwards and then walk forwards again to get the prompt but facing a certain direction will place the page on that path and if the page stays in place then you know that that page goes in that order first if the second third or fourth page disappears and you know that your second or third page was in the wrong spot and you're gonna have to restart again by placing the first page back in the correct spot and then the second the third and the fourth and once you finally place all the pages in the correct order the spell will be broken you'll be able to go inside the room and waiting for you will be a death machine now and if you have that ray gun troll the ray gun should also be waiting in here for you as well now i can't say that this reward is entirely useful it's a cool way to have a guaranteed death machine score streak which is pretty powerful but again i just don't think this is quite worth the effort to get let me know your thoughts in the comments below and for our third and final side easter egg this is to collect something called a corrupted heart and by digging around the map there's a chance that when you dig you'll find this weird blue orb that will fly towards your character's body and you'll see all this red smoke around your character and you'll notice that you'll have half the health that you usually would have now somewhere around the map there's going to be a red demonic circle that you're going to want to bury the heart in and that's as far as this easter egg seems to go at the moment once you've buried the corrupted heart you'll be able to dig the spot again to get the heart back and bury it somewhere else now at the moment no one knows exactly what this does or what the end end goal is one popular theory is that this easter egg simply helps you find dig spots because the red circle illuminates on the location where a dig spot would be helping you as the player realize where a dig spot actually is in case you ran past it or just didn't see it for whatever reason but that could be entirely false and there could be something else that this is used for but it doesn't seem that way at the moment in my game i was able to find a corrupted heart bury it and then when i dug it back up i had a different spot i could put it down on and eventually i was able able to dig up two blue orbs which then became three which then became four and i was burying this corrupted heart absolutely everywhere and then there was nothing but dig spots to dig up the corrupted heart so much so that i think it glitched out my game and i couldn't actually do any of the other side easter eggs because all i could dig up was the corrupted heart i will update the description as well as a pinned comment in this video to let you know exactly what this does if it actually does anything but let me know your findings in the comments below but that wraps up terra maldicta's side easter eggs now if you're still looking for an easter egg guide for this map then look no further it's on the screen right now click it over there and i'll see you in just a few moments